Hello everyone, my name is Chang-en Ryu. I'm an undergraduate student at Handong Global University. I'm going to present modeling and simulation of municipal solid waste management system based on discrete event system specification. Urbanization is continuing worldwide, and as urbanization progresses, many urban problems arise. According to the population growth, the total amount of waste in the region increases. Consequently, if the government doesn't collect waste properly, the satisfaction level of residents will decrease. This is a causal loop diagram of the waste management system. The waste management system is an important factor that affects the residents' living environment. However, so far, the simulation of the waste collection and transport didn't consider the behavior patterns of the resident. Depending on cultural or temporal characteristics, residents' pattern of waste generation may vary. The graph on the left shows the waste generation of dormitory without behavior pattern. Graph on the right reflected the pattern of students in the dormitory. Although the total amount of waste is the same, there is a huge difference in the amount of waste generated by timeline. Specifically, students purchase stuff for the new semester, and the amount of waste also increases in the beginning of the semester. In addition, a week before the end of the semester, the amount of waste is increasing because before going back to home, students throw all unnecessary items away. Therefore, if we can capture the pattern of residents, we can make a good waste management policies. These are the related works for optimizing waste management system. Many of researchers proposed GIS and solving vehicle routing problem to optimize the waste collection and transportation. Some of them used agent-based simulation to solve the problem, especially Xi et al. and Guariso et al. used discrete event simulation. Some other researchers used system dynamics to forecast the waste generation. However, to the best of my knowledge, there has been little discussion of the modeling of human behavior patterns or cultural characteristics in the context of waste management. We'd like to propose discrete event simulation and agent-based simulation adapting temporal pattern of residents. Depth formalism provides mathematical framework for modeling discrete event system, and it may capture structure information and timely behavior easily. It may interoperate with other model or modeling method, and it is an object-oriented modeling method. Furthermore, structured modeling by separating model and interface is possible. Depth formalism comprise of two types of models to represent discrete event system, atomic models and coupled models. An atomic model, M, is a model that is affected by external input event, X, and generates output event, Y, based on the model state. The state set, S, represents the unique description of the model. The internal transition function, delta int, and the external transition function, delta ext, are used to compute the next state of the model. If an external event arrives after an elapsed time epsilon that is less than or equal to the value tas specified by the time advance function ta, then the new state s prime is computed using the external transition function delta ext. Subsequently, a new TA S prime is computed and the elapsed time epsilon is set to zero. Otherwise, when an internal event arrives at TA S, the new state S prime is computed using the internal transition function delta int. In the case of an internal event, the output specified by the output function lambda is produced based on the state S which means that the output function is processed before the internal transition function. Then, as before, a new TA S prime is computed and the elapsed time epsilon is set to zero. M12 is a coupled model which is composed of atomic model M1 and M2. There are two coupling relationships between M1 and M2. 
output port of M1 is connected to input of M2 and output out to port of M2 is connected to in to port of M1. So by using this atomic model and coupled model, we can design the model with top-down approach. While implementation can be done with bottom-up approach, composing atomic models or other coupled models to compose a system. By using depth formalism, this type of overall configuration is possible. From now on, I'd like to introduce a few important models in this simulation. The resident model represents a person of the residential area. During the simulation, the resident model may generate a trash event with a given amount of waste generation from a particular resident type instance and send it to the corresponding instance of the family model and check model. Resident will wait for next departure time and repeat to generate a trash event. Check model is used to measure the satisfaction level of a resident in accordance with the capacity of the garbage can. Since the resident model generates trash event based on the departure time, the check model utilizes this event to handle departure event. When the check model receives a request message from the resident model, a check message is sent to the garbage can model to check the status of the garbage can. The check model then passes the value received from the garbage can through the check port to the resident type instance. Each resident type class has a function that calculates the satisfaction level based on the accumulation ratio of the garbage can. After checking the satisfaction level, the check model may trigger a claim message to the government model through the gob report port if the satisfaction level is below a set threshold. Garbage can model models the temporary garbage collection area for each building. If residents generate a large amount of garbage in the garbage can, or a garbage truck does not collect sufficient garbage from the garbage can, some garbage may remain in the can. The remaining garbage may affect the satisfaction level of a resident. Garbage trunk model. When the garbage trunk model visits a building, waste is taken from the garbage can and added to the truck. The truck has a fixed storage size, which the amount of waste that the truck is carrying cannot exceed. Therefore, the garbage truck may not collect garbage from a garbage can when the truck does not have sufficient storage space available. The garbage truck model sends a message to receive the accumulated waste from a garbage can. This process is repeated until the truck has visited all buildings. After the truck has visited all buildings, the amount of waste in each storage space is set to zero and another round of garbage collection is scheduled. Based on the population composition of an administrative district in Poang City, experiments were conducted by modeling the living parents of construction workers, students, and homemakers, who represent the majority of the occupants of the administrative district. The regulations that stipulated the collection time of Poang City were also reflected. The living pattern for each occupation was compiled based on the analysis report for a time use survey targeting the national population by Gallup Korea. A few assumptions were adopted when modeling the residential area and the waste management system. Since the actual operations of garbage trucks may be different for each waste disposal company, in this research, an abstract model was built for the waste collection strategy. First is a fixed mode sequence, second, a palindrome sequence, third, a random sequence. A fixed sequence is a sequence in which the garbage truck visits the buildings in a predefined order. The palindrome sequence is a sequence in which the order is reversed after the completion of each cycle of collection. Finally, a random sequence is a sequence in which every building is visited in a random order. Single-person households were assumed, and each experiment was conducted 30 times to measure the average number of complaints from residents concerning each waste collection strategy. 
Departure time of construction worker, student, and homemaker is 6.22 a.m., 7.58 a.m., 1 p.m., respectively. The graphs show the simulated number of complaints filed by a population with an equal composition of students, homemakers, and construction workers served by a garbage truck following each strategy. Among all experiments, the average civil complaint of fixed sequence was the smallest. This time, we experimented with fixed sequence using a different population composition. At 7 a.m., the number of complaints from students was the lowest, and the number of complaints from the homemaker was the highest. At 12 p.m., students and construction workers filed the most complaints. Overall, the total number of complaints was the highest at 12 p.m. and the lowest at, at 1 p.m. The pattern of increase and decrease in the numbers of complaints from the residents with each occupation were similar to those in the case of equal composition rate. It was found that the results vary depending on the population composition. The research motivation was that the urbanization is still progressing and waste collection systems that do not take into account the residents' behavior patterns are inefficient. So we proposed the modeling the behavior pattern of the resident. We used depth formalism for the simulation method. The lesson we learned from this experiment is that we found that the number of complaints may vary depending on the population composition. And at 1 p.m., the total number of complaints was the lowest. For the future research, experiment can be expanded to larger scale. And in order to obtain realistic data, it is necessary to link with smart city. Thank you for your attention.